Hello, my name is Adam Estes, professor of saxophone at the University of Mississippi. I'll be talking to you about a fundamental today of attack and release. Now, when we go to begin sounds on the saxophone, there's a few steps that we need to ensure we do prior to making the sound. So the first part is that we need to inhale. We need to set the embouchure. We need to bring the air to the tip of the reed. All right, we need to have the tongue on the tip of the reed and then the release. All right, so we don't want a sound that ultimately sounds like this with an air attack. Because if we do that, you hear kind of a delayed response. All right, now the beginning stages of articulation, it's okay to do that. All right, when you're trying to get students to understand that the important thing is to get the air moving through the horn and to articulate from that point on is okay. Right, if you start a sound and say you're, you're working on half notes, then starting like that is okay. I think that's a good way to start. It gets the air going through the horn, they're working on breath support, a consistent airflow, and the tongue is interrupting the sound, which is okay. And once you establish that, and that actually can be established the very beginning prior to putting the horn together with just the mouthpiece and neck together. Concert A flat. In fact, from this position you can work on embouchure, you can work on breath support, articulation, uh, vibrato, you can do all sorts of things with just this piece. All right. So when you're working with beginning students, I encourage you uh, to go ahead and start with just this piece. All right, and so you can build embouchure, air support, articulation, especially from the beginning. And then, once they firmly have that in place, those fundamentals, then I encourage you putting the horn together. Then you can worry about hand position and, and, and the like after that. Okay? Now, after, like we mentioned, after the air is going and you understand, or the students understand articulation from a very basic concept, then we want to work on starting the sound with an articulation. Now the best way to do that, I think, is to remind yourself to breathe in, set the embouchure, have the tip of the tongue on the tip of the reed of the mouthpiece, bring the air forward to the reed, ready to go, and then release, and the sound happens. The sound doesn't happen as a result of the tongue hitting the reed, it happens as a result of the tongue moving away from the reed. Demonstrate him. Breathe in. Set the embouchure, bring the air forward, put the tongue on the top of the reed, and then release. Okay? So, there's a few steps involved there, but I think if you teach that process to begin with, breathe in first, set the embouchure, put the tongue on the tip of the reed of the mouthpiece, bring the air forward, and then release. Then you'll be fine. Otherwise, you're going to have delayed responses all day long. So one thing I kind of equate this to is a water hose that's hooked up to a faucet outside. At the tip of the water hose, you have a, kind of a spray gun. So when the spray gun's attached and you turn the water on, the water goes to the edge, but it doesn't come out of the end of the hose yet. It requires a trigger to actually release the water. So imagine your air column as the hose and the trigger gun or the spray gun as your tongue here. All right, so turn the water on slash air Get it all the way up here ready to go and then release the tongue from the tip of the reed to create the sound. Okay, so when I go to play, you hear probably a little a little air trying to escape. That's because I brought the air forward to the tip of the reed and the tongue's preventing the sound from happening. Listen again. To assess this is to start at the beginning, just have somebody hold a whole note, and then stop the tongue on the reed. Continue to act like you're playing by supporting the sound even through the rest, meaning the air is turned on. If the tongue wasn't there to stop it, the air would continue and the tone would continue. All right. So a whole note followed by a whole rest. I'm going to keep the air turned on, and only the tongue is going to stop it from happening. 
it should sound like this at this tempo. so forth to where you are connecting sounds and the goal of this of course is to keep the air going and to show you the student or if you're a teacher to show the students you're working with that the air should be consistently supported and maintained throughout and the tongue is only there to start by releasing from the tip to get the sound to happen and to interrupt the sound as articulations take place all right so here is an example of old mcdonald here and i want you to really concentrate on connecting the air, all right? Now, we want to have a nice stream of air going the whole way using the tongue only to interrupt the sound. Okay, so have a proper breath. to beginning the note, to starting the note, to attacking the note, the release is equally as important. A lot of people, when they first start learning the saxophone, take the embouchure away from the horn at the end of a phrase and they quit too soon. If that happens, we hear this sound often. <laughs> or the last. So ensure that you, by working with your students that you encourage them to finish the sound, keeping the embouchure the same, and let the air in naturally. Ah, in naturally. So if we're at the end of the second bar, embouchure right, stays the same, the air ends in a natural way. Keep the air going, keep the embouchure the same, and don't let the students take the mouthpiece away, or take the embouchure off the mouthpiece or else we'll get kind of that nasty sound to end with, okay? The other thing is that the air support needs to go through the entire phrase. Don't let your students get away with this. All right, insist that they connect the sounds. fundamental concept. I think if you do that with the beginning stages of establishing articulation, you'll have good success and teach the proper fundamentals from there. Thank you.